Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for being here. If you are here for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe. I am, I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm excited for family members who's got um, great things going on. I'll let them come in and tell us about it when, when, when they choose to, uh, but yeah. Uh, first things first, I want to let you guys know that everything's fine. I am fine. For those of you who reached out, there was a earthquake here in Mexico, but it was like 700 miles away from where I am. So it was not on the east coast of Mexico, which is where I am. This occurred on the west coast. So nothing here but rain and thunder and all of that good stuff in the evenings, which is why I have not been showing back up in the evenings because these storms roll through and the lightning is incredible like it looks like fireworks are going off outside and it sounds like the thunder is right on top of the building so that's the difference here it just hits so different i did not know but it is crazy hello my family thank you i'm doing well thank you and thank y'all for checking on me too um and thank you for reaching out so go ahead and hit that thumbs up button i see you guys are still uh, receiving your notifications. Yes, girl, this tropical weather is something. I knew, but I didn't know, okay? I didn't know it hit like it hits, okay? But it's good. I'm, I'm experiencing it, and it's and it's okay. Yes, welcome. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Come on in. So I'm touch. I'm going over. Oh, let me say this. Check your notification bells. I'm so glad that we are finally getting back on track with that. So, yes. Yes, Gary. Oh, and some good okay <laughs> i love it i love it oh from el salvador i want to visit i want to visit there's some nice places out there that i really want to visit i've i've seen several people um you know traveling and doing hitting spots like that so that one's on my list beautiful beautiful i'm not doing that until the first of the year like i'm gonna hop out there and travel a little more um, come the first of the year these first six months like i said just to kind of get my feet wet here feel you know just just get in just relax for a minute so yes let's jump right into this video uh like i like i've told you all when i do come live i'm going to move through these videos like they are pre-recorded so that we don't um yeah so that we uh you know just kind of stay on stay on course stay on track but in the evenings i'm trying to come back so that we can you know vibe and talk and chat so don't think i'm not looking and listening and paying you all any attention but for those people that are coming in you know later and watching the video i do want it to just be you know about the video about the title so thank you guys for watching the previous video because it was about the gray top tube that you all have been asking about if you haven't seen it please go ahead and check it out and i put a video up this morning about it as well about how to collect uh that gray top two when it's a lactic acid how to properly bag that specimen because a lactic acid has to be collected on ice i gave you one way to collect it but i'm also going to give you a second way if you're not bagging it up you know to put in the tube station or prepare for a courier that's kind of the look that i gave this morning but there is a way you can do it if you just have a cup and some ice if you're on the floors making those morning rounds um there are ways you can do it as well um it's very simple so right now though someone asked about the tan top tube don't talk about the tan top tube a lot either because it's one of those tubes like the gray top tube um you won't see a lot you'll see the gray top tube more than a tan top tube the tan top tube is strictly for i won't say strictly because i'm sure it may be used for something else but i don't believe so i believe it's only used for lead determinations um, so yeah, so I would use that too when I was working in primary care for kids that would come in if they were suspected of, you know, back in the day there was issues with the paint in older homes and if the kids ate the paint they were exposed to lead and had to be tested you know for lead so i don't have a tan top tube with me but i'm very clever and i wrapped this tube with a piece of paper and wrote tan on it because i want to show you guys the order of draw for the tan top tube and just to tell you a little more about the tan top tube because there are two of them so 
We always have to go back to basics when we're talking about a tube or adding a tube because you need to know where it goes and why. And in this case, we have blue, red, gold, green, lavender. You guys already know that. And our gray top tube, which we went over yesterday. So we've been going over and covering all six tubes. Instead of the five basics, I've thrown that gray top tube in here because you guys have been asking for it. And we talked about glucose studies as well. So please check out the previous video so that you'll be up to par and know how this is moving along. So someone said, okay, give me the tan top tube. This is our tan top tube. Tan top tubes, there's two of them. One of them contains a form of EDTA. EDTA can be a, in liquid form or it can be the spray coated. Um, the tubes can be lightly coated, sprayed. When you hold them up and you see like they look dirty on the inside, that's the coating that's supposed to be in the tube. And the tan top tube and the gold top tube pretending to be a tan top tube is a perfect example because it is lightly coated on the inside. And when you look at it, it appears that, you know, something's in it. And that's what that is. That's that coating of the additive. So there is a tan top tube that has sodium heparin in it. That's the glass. There's a glass tan as well as a plastic tan. The glass tan top tube has the sodium heparin in it. The plastic has the spray, the lightly coated spray of EDTA in it. Now, when you're doing your order of draw, where do you think the tan top tube that has the sodium heparin in it would go? If you were, this was your order of draw and you also have a tan top tube, where are you going to put the tan top tube that has the sodium heparin in it? Are you going to put it here? Are you going to put it here? Where are you going to put it? This is why and when the additives of the tubes come in very handy. Your tan top tube that has sodium heparin in it, it's going to come before the gray, but it's going to come before the lavender as well because it has the EDTA in it. So you're going to draw your green top tube. I mean, it has the sodium heparin. This is the one with the sodium heparin because remember, your light green top tube has lithium heparin. So you wanna keep those tubes together so it's gonna go after you pull that green top, you're gonna to pull the tan top tube that has the lithium heparin, okay? The sodium heparin, I'm sorry. That glass top tube, okay? Now, if this were the tan top tube with the EDTA in it, you're gonna pull it before the gray because it's with the lavender top two families because it has the EDTA in it. So it kind of looks the same as far as drawing, but not technically because remember, if it's the EDTA, you draw your green, your lavender, then you draw the tan top tube that has the EDTA in it, okay? So you always draw your, your basics first. If I only needed, the tan top, of course, it's the next one in line and it goes with the green top. If it had the EDTA in it, of course, I'm gonna draw my lavender top first, then I'm going to draw the tan top tube that has the EDTA in it. So, yes. Become familiar with the additives you all and you won't have any problems with the tubes and where they place. So we'll go over the additives more. A lot of you are asking about that as well. And I think it's really good um, for us to go over those. And what else did I wanna tell you guys about this tube? Um, it's not to be done. You don't do this. But this is only in the event of like an emergency. Say the patient has gone home. The only thing they had drawn was a, you know, a tan, a, yeah, a tan top tube. And now the doctor's like, well, I need a CBC run. Can they do that? Uh, no, not if it's already drawn. But the tan top tube can be used uh, in place of a CBC, uh, not a CBC, no, no, in place of a lavender top tube, depending on the, the situation, okay? But I say that because they are EDTA tubes. So remember, um, just like we can switch these around sometimes, 
okay um the same thing with the tan top too yes vanessa i saw you come in thank you so yes please comment down below if that's confusing if you got it but always start with your five basic tubes be red go green and lavender a uh, blue red go green and lavender and make sure you know the additives and then when you get a tube that you're not familiar with always look at the additive and that's how you will know where it goes so yes Quick question, Vanessa, because I'm coming back this evening. If it does not storm and lightning and thunder like it has been uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So that's why I didn't come back. Um, but go ahead real quick, and then I'm out of here, and I'll be back this evening so that we can go over the questions. So, yeah. So that's our tan top tube, and uh, I'll come back also with... Oh, nice. Ooh, the side of the vein. Ooh, yes. We'll talk about that. We'll talk. That's just not something I just want to say. Girl, do this, do that. Uh, yeah, you got to make sure, you know, how you're feeling, where you're feeling, and all of that. So we'll discuss that later. Only if you guys thumbs up, share, like, comment, and all of that. Um, so I can come back and, yeah, we'll talk about veins and we'll answer all of your questions. So I'm glad you guys got your notifications and those things. So just come back this evening so that we can carry on. So, yes, that's your tan top two, EDTA, as well as sodium heparin as the, um, an additive in it. You have a glass and a plastic when it comes to a tan, so make sure you check the additives. Yes, ma'am, I'm going to try definitely to come back if these storms don't pop up again. So, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll see y'all later. Bye.